Hello, everybody. I have certainly missed these last few weeks visiting with my church family and church, especially the children and especially the cubbies. <gasps> Look who came. He says he's missed everybody so much. He's waving to all the cubbies. And no, you can't see them, but they can see you. I did bring a story. I did. Would you like to hear it? Okay, well, you sit down here, and this is the story I'm going to read. It's called The Storm That Stopped. Now, this is a book, and it looks like a make-believe picture book, and it is a picture book, but what it really is is a story that comes from the Bible, and we know that the stories from the Bible are true stories. They really happened, and this was two of Jesus' men who wrote about this one. So here it is, The Storm That Stopped. And you can see right here, it looks like a big storm on the fly pages. One day, long ago, Jesus was teaching people by the sea. Soon some people arrived, then others, then more and more, until there were people everywhere. They all bickered. They said, we can't hear back here. Give me some more room. Oh, be quiet. I can't see. The crowds were just too big. No one could see Jesus, and no one could hear Jesus. So Jesus asked his friends, the disciples, to push their boat out into the water. He sat in the boat, and the huge crowd sped, spread out along the beach. Now they could all see and hear Jesus as he told them all about God. And when he finished teaching the people, Jesus said to his friends, Let's go over to the other side of the sea. Jesus had finished teaching the crowd, and now he had something to teach his friends. But they didn't know it yet. So they all jumped in the boat with him and set sail across the sea. Jesus was so tired. He'd been teaching the people all day, so he lay down in the back of the boat and fell fast asleep. It was a quiet evening. The water gently gently lapped against the boat and the sun slowly set in the sky. Jesus was sleeping. The disciples were quietly talking. Then, all of a sudden, they were in the midst of a, the biggest, loudest, scariest, and most ginormous storm you could ever imagine. Look at the back of the boat. You see, Jesus is still sleeping back there. The wind blew hard. The waves grew huge. The water poured into the boat. But Jesus was asleep. The wind blew harder. The waves grew huger. The water filled up the boat. But Jesus was still asleep. His disciples yelled at him, Jesus, wake up, wake up. Don't you care? What a silly thing to say to Jesus. Of course he cared. He loved his friends so much that one day they were going to die for he was going to die for them. Jesus stood up in the boat. The wind was still blowing. The waves were bigger than ever. The water was pouring into the boat quickly, more quickly than the dis disciples could tip it out again. The boat was sinking. But then Jesus did something amazing. He didn't help his friends pour the water out of the boat. He didn't help them try to row back to land. Jesus simply spoke. But he didn't speak to the disciples. He spoke to the storm, to the wind, and to the waves. Quiet. Be still. Just three little words, and the storm stopped. Right away, at that very moment, the sea was quiet, still, and calm. Then Jesus looked at his friends. Why are you so afraid? Do you not still trust me? But they were terrified, and they asked one another, Who is this? Even the waves and the winds do what he says. This is what Jesus wanted to teach them. He wanted them to know who he really is. The disciples already knew a lot about God from his special book. They knew that God made everything. He made the world, he made the sun and the moon and the stars, and he made the sea and the wind as well. 
They knew that only God can tell the sea what to do, that only God can tell the wind when to blow or the waves when to crash. Only God can do those things. But then the disciples had just seen Jesus do the same things God can do. So what was the answer to their question? Who is Jesus? Jesus is God. I hope you like this story. I hope you remember that God is in charge. No matter how bad things come, with this illness going around and everything, God is in charge.